Good evening once again. I'm Keith Ranford. The COVID-19 pandemic is disturbing life on almost every level now. And as the holiday season is quickly approaching, local charities are bracing for a big drop in donations this year. One of those organizations is the Salvation Army. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us how that famous red kettle drive is going to look a lot different this year. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle, jingle bell. Outside the top store in Hamburg, Jose Lacine is offering well wishes to customers in hopes they will put a donation into the Salvation Army's red kettle. Happy holiday. This year, the veteran bell ringer is required to do a thorough cleaning in between donations. And make it comfortable, so safe for them and safe for myself too. At the Tops Depew store, volunteer Desiree Roberts is also ringing the bell while surrounded by stark reminders of COVID-19's danger. Yeah, helping out a lot of people that's in need. While Tops is supportive, other retailers are saying no to the kettles because of the virus. We're down probably a good half, a good third of what we normally do. It. Normally, the Red Kettle campaign raises a half million dollars for Buffalo programs that support needy families and the homeless. Some retailers will only allow the kettles, but with no volunteers. So the Salvation Army plans to use celebrity cutouts like this to get people's attention. It causes a ton of challenges. Money from the kettles is needed more than ever. And you've seen the statistics about unemployment and people losing their job or losing their homes. Uh, the need is greater than ever. We're expecting four or five times more people. Toy donations are also affected. Companies like M&T Bank are not putting out collection barrels. Instead, people are asked to buy toys at three local stores because the toys have to be quarantined before being sorted or distributed. It's challenging times. We're trying to be very creative on how we can gather toys, how we can raise money at the kettles. Even small efforts are being impacted. Deacon Mike Dulac and the St. Vincent de Paul chapter at our Mother of Good Council Church in Blaisdell normally collect Christmas gifts for struggling families. But sanitizing those is too difficult, so gift cards are being requested instead. We are starting earlier and we're distributing earlier to give the folks a chance to go out and do their own shopping. The Salvation Army tells us it really needs more donations of food, toys, and money. And because there is a serious shortage of volunteers, it needs more people to help as well. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.